<laughs> no way! Mate. That's ridiculous! <laughs> I'm Mark Pitchers, Wade aware of tea drinking, caffeine intolerance, beard trimming, carp freak. I've been an angler for over 30 years and caught carp from waters far and wide, big and small. For me, it doesn't matter where, as long as the challenge is exciting and inspiring. But in this series, the target is out of my control. Three challenges will be put forward on Fox's Facebook page. Then. It's up to you to have the final say on what mission I take on. I've faced some incredibly tough challenges so far. Have you been drinking de icer again? Some of which I've smashed out the park. This one for the win. Others have dealt me a devastating blow. I literally have no words. But I'm still here and ready to pick up any gauntlet that is thrown down. This carp freak is not giving up without a fight. Yes. This is the challenge. What's up carp freaks and welcome to this special episode of the challenge. Right now I'm not on the bank, I am at home and Harry has joined me because we are waiting for instructions as to what my challenge is. All we know is we are going to be filming it next week, we've kept that week free in our diaries and we are just waiting for a text message from Lewis Porter to tell us exactly what that challenge entails. He's late. Did he say when? He said, he said 12 o'clock-ish and it's just after 12 o'clock. Okay, that's so He's on your time a bit late. I thought I was going to time that perfectly. I thought I was just going to finish speaking and it was going to go ping. <laughs> it? Yes, it is. Here we go. Okay, right. This is my challenge. Mark, five years ago, you took on a challenge to catch three carp from three countries. One from a river, one from a canal, and one from a lake. Now let's be honest, you failed that miserably. You, you did. Well, mm. so we think it's about time you give it another go. With travel restrictions, you will be limited to the UK, so this time you must catch two from a river, two from a canal, and two from a lake. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah. That's harsh. That's harder than the other one? Yeah. I'd say it's harder. Yeah. Is there any, is that it? Uh, no, sorry. However, each venue must be in a different county. Last year, you and Harry fished against each other in the challenge special. This time, you will have to fish together as a team to pass this challenge. So, get planning and good luck. Ooh, right. okay. so, so he said that I've got to do it. So, so I'm, I'm doing it with you. I'm reading it again, sorry. It hasn't sunk in yet. Last year, you and Harry fished against each other in the challenge special. This time, you'll have to fish together as a team to try and pass this challenge. Oh. So, so I'm actually, you've, you've I'm, just not, you've, I'm not the obstacle. You, I'm, I'm, it's, um, I don't know if you, I see it as a help or a hindrance. Maybe it's if you could be my tea boy or something. <laughs> I'm sure you well, can no, help. If I, no, if I'm doing it, I'm doing it. If that's what, I did think something was up when I wasn't allowed to be involved yeah. with the decision. Yeah, you're normally, it's normally you that plans everything and calls all the shots, but you didn't know anything about right. this one. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to do a challenge. Yeah, you're actually going to do an actual challenge. I'm quite excited about that. I am. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. We have got to catch two from a river, two from a canal, and two from a lake from three different counties. I don't, yeah. Yeah, that's quite... That's a tricky one. And it's stretch. not, we don't have to catch 
one each from a canal, one each. For, so. No, I imagine, like, we, no. between us, yeah. we need to... We pull in our efforts to catch two between us, yeah. We've got less than a week to plan this one. Yeah, it's Tuesday today, we start on Monday. Yeah. So, yeah, six days. We need to get this nailed on. It's going to be tricky. It is going to Let's be tricky. It. Let's yeah. do it. Let's we'll do it. We'll do it. I'm pumped. We'll do it. As you can tell. <laughs> so pumped. <laughs> With only six days to go, we wasted no time in getting a plan in place. Social media provided some great info and enabled us to make the decision to target a river carp first. With the plan in place, we agreed to meet at Bridge Tackle in Long Eaton, Derbyshire, where we could buy our club tickets. <laughs> By the way, right, okay. I've got the cash points. Cheers. Right, sorry, no worries, no worries. Okay. They don't take car payments, so I need to find a cash point. So, yeah, so we're after two books for the, is it Levis? Yeah, Lloyd's in Victoria Angling Society. That's what, okay. We thought yeah, it stood for something else. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, okay. two of them then, please. Yeah, two of them, yeah. Okay. Cheers. Right. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Cheers. Lost your cash. Yeah, I lost the cash already. I really can't find it. How has that happened? Take everything out of your pocket. You can't have all fallen out of my pocket. Well, Check the one with your phone in. Check your back pockets. I haven't got back pockets. I've just given you 60 quid and you've lost it. Yeah. Right, let's go. I don't believe it. Right, come on. It ain't going to be there. I can't believe it. Hey. I can't believe that's happened. That's a f***ing omen. That's, that's a bad start. Why did I give you that? Why did I give it to you? You definitely did give it to me, didn't you? Yeah. Think of it this way. We've just made someone's death. <laughs> I can't be that positive. That's weird. Do you want to give it to me? You got zips. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Has he kept hold of it this time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. At least one or two. Yeah, well, at least two. Yeah. yeah. At least two, yeah. Perfect, thanks All for right, that. Catch you later. Cheers. Bye -bye. Well, we're 120 quid lighter, but <laughs> we've got the books, so let's head off down to the river. <laughs> stuff's gonna it's stuff's gonna go so wrong this week, isn't it? It's it just is. yeah. I lost your 60 quid. I don't know who that's worse for, me or you. Well, you. you. No, no it's, worse. <laughs> it's bad for both of us. Because yeah. we're both 60 quid down. So to start this challenge, we have come to what we think is going to be the biggest hurdle and that's the river and we have come to the River Trent. Yeah, we've spent a fair bit of time in the last week really trying to research this, speaking mm -hmm. to a lot of people and everything pointed to the Trent and then we sort of narrowed it down to this spot where we've spoken to a couple of guys yeah. and they have said normally it's a really really good bet. Yeah it, this, this seemed to be one of the most prolific areas of the Trent from what we've been told and I was feeling really really optimistic until about five minutes ago when we <laughs> spoke to an angler fishing on one of the boats who said there hasn't been a fish caught for the past few days from this stretch of the river. 
Yeah, and that's not not just a carp, not a bream, not a barbel, nothing. not a chub, nothing. Um, and he said he's been here over the weekend, and there's been other anglers here over the weekend, and they've all caught nothing either. Yeah. So I've gone from feeling really confident to now feeling like oh, this this is going to be hard work, but. We just have to wait and see. We're going to have to give it a go. It, everything pointed to this place. Mm -hmm. So we'll start here and see how it goes. And then there are backup options. Are there? There, there, <laughs> might, there, there are. There, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there Apparently are. We've got we backup don't. options. Well, there are other rivers in England. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's just get started. Yeah. So the area that we've decided to fish is where several waterways meet. We've got the River Saw, I think it is over there, joining the River Trent. We've got a canal here, don't know what that is. And there's a canal behind us as well. So several waterways are all meeting. So you would think it's a perfect fish holding area. But all I'm doing right now is having a bit of a, a cast around just to try and to try and build up a better understanding of what's, what it's like down there on the, on the river bed. Um, I'm just casting around, just feeling the lead down to the bottom to build up an understanding of the depths. There, for example, just, just a little flick out, it feels about nine, 10 feet, something like that. I've had a few casts just a little bit to the left as it starts to go into the canal and it really shallows up. It's probably only about five feet deep down the center of that canal. And in the middle of the river, I think it's, I think it's a bit deeper again. I'm just going to go slightly right to that cast where I've got nine, 10 feet. That's much deeper. That's probably 13, 14 feet, just in, just in the space of less than a rod length. So obviously, yeah, we've got the canal, which is fairly shallow, and then it drops down quite sharply as it goes into the main bit of river. So it's just trying to decide what depth I think those fish are going to be at. The temperatures are quite cold on the, on the nights now. Um, we had a lot of cold water, rainwater, going to the river just a few days ago. So I think the fish will be in the deeper water. It's just how deep I think they're going to be. I don't think they're going to be right in the, in the middle of the river in the deepest part. I don't know. I think I'm going to sort of spread a bit of bait on the entrance to this canal here. Not bait it too tight. Then put one rod sort of in eight, nine, ten feet and one rod as I go into, in towards the, the main, main bit of the river itself. So edging my bets that way I think is probably going to be my best option. Just had an absolute nightmare. Drop me box. It swivels everywhere. This is not a good start. 60 quid down, swivels everywhere. Do you feel on edge yet? I said it from the start, it's going to be so hard just to rock up on a river and catch. Oh, yeah, of course. I think that's the best thing to do. Put some bait in. And if you haven't caught by 10, go to the canal and then maybe come back tomorrow night. If we don't catch tonight from here, then it's proper hard work. No, I think we'll get two from the canal tomorrow. If you haven't caught tonight, two from the canal tomorrow. Bait this. Come back, blank for another night. Oh, don't, well then it's f then yeah, challenge failed. At least in a lake, you know that you've got a certain number of fish out in front of you. Yeah. Like, there might not be another carp for, for a mile. Everyone that we've spoken to said there's lots of carp here. Yeah. Apart from that guy just there. Mm. 
So what's our plan? Is it my plan as per discussed? Your plan was to keep on coming back here, which I'm not sure about. See what happens in the morning. If we've not caught by the morning, we go to the canal and try and get <coughs> that one down. Or if we've only caught one by the morning. Ah, but then, if we <coughs> leave here... Yeah, we can't get back. We can't split up for the challenge, can we? One of us stays here and holds and swim. Yeah. Whilst the other one goes off and captures two from a canal. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. It's just the filming of it that's hard. It'd have to be me on my GoPro or me on my phone or... <laughs> Probably trust me to get more footage and me to catch more carp. Really? I would trust me. I wouldn't. Really? You wouldn't trust me more than you trust yourself to catch a carp? From a canal. I don't trust you. You've got no... Offensive. You've got no canal experience. You're a canal virgin. It's just carp. I don't think you've got... I don't think you've got what it takes. Sorry. Really? Yeah. That's why you've never been picked for a world championship team where the world champs have been on a canal. Nerves will get the better of you. I think you'll fluff it up completely and you'll just set us back. Like we're supposed to be working as a team. I know, exactly. And you're, and you're exactly. Doing, feeding negative energy. I'm not. You're meant to be working as a team and you're the one thinking about yourself here. Myself, I'm team captain. I'm thinking of the team. I'm How team, are you cap team captain. How? <laughs> for the better of the team, I go and do it. I, I, I completely disagree. Completely disagree. I've never even seen you fish on a canal. I have You've seen you fish on a canal. You've only caught carp from one canal. You have caught carp from a canal. Have I? Yeah. When? I pocked two when I when I let you fish my swim because oh, you couldn't. I've caught loads of carp from a canal. <laughs> well, I let you fish my swim because you couldn't catch anywhere else. Well, good morning. Can you say it's a good morning? You can't really say it's a good morning when you haven't caught anything and don't even feel like you're gonna catch anything. I caught one. Harry caught a bream. I caught a rat that ate through my landing net. <laughs> and other than that, that's been it. We've not really seen any signs of life at all. There's, there's been hardly any fish showing, even like small roach and things like that. It's just. It just seems devoid of life. We did have quite a bit of rain um, last week. Speaking to a guy yesterday, he says the river's actually two foot higher than it has been of, of, of late. And I just think that cold water going in has just really knocked the fishing back. I'm by no means uh, an expert on, on the River Trent. I don't know what areas are productive, what areas aren't, but all indications point to this location as being one of the most prolific stretches on the river. It's not that I don't think the fish are here. I do. I'm sure there's fish in this area. It's, it looks a fantastic area. I just don't think they're feeding. The fact that Harry's just caught one bream and we we're, were warned about the bream and how bad they can be. And I've had one bream. I, I think our best option is to pack up, to leave the river, go onto a canal, then onto a lake, and then come back when conditions on the river are more favorable. I think this, this location is the right location. I just don't think that the river is in form right now. Conditions are set to improve later in the week, and I think our best option is to come back when conditions are better. So that's what we're gonna do. Leaving the Trent behind, we decided to put just a few more boilies in, pre-baiting the spots, with the plan now being to return to the river on the last night of the trip, by which point a forecast changing conditions should have spiced things up a bit. We also checked out a few other areas on the River Trent, but none of them looked quite as enticing as that original spot. So it was now onwards and upwards to the canal.
Here's one, two. Yes. <laughs> not, not bad fish, doubles. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. That's cab, same. Time to pick up. They are, yeah. I think they've been feeding. Yeah, look, look at all this coloured water and all this cloudy stuff. So we're now on our second waterway and in our second county, we are on a canal in Leicestershire and it's already looking very promising indeed. As we've drove up to the canal, we can already see that there's carp swimming around on the surface behind us. This is looking so encouraging. So we are gonna waste no time at all. Harry and I are now gonna split up to try and maximize our chances. And the plan is, I think we're both gonna start off fishing on the surface with bits of bread. Um, let's just try and get this challenge at least up and running. That, that's the plan. Two carp would be great, but let's just make some sort of start. <laughs> so we're just on a, uh, on a little mission to co-op to get what? To get some crusty bread rolls. We've yeah. got all the floater gear in the car. I would never, I never take the floater out of the car until maybe December. I don't know whether they're going to be up for it or what, whether they're just seeing themselves. I'm not sure. I think that's going to be the way that if they're up for it, we'll catch one really quickly. Oh, yeah. yeah. If they're up for it, we'll catch one really quickly. If not, it'll be a case of setting a few little traps yeah. in the edge. Wait for the sun to drop. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, if they're not up for it, that doesn't, um, they're not my confidence anyway. I think as soon as the sun starts to go down, then fish will be well up for a feed on the bottom. I'm sure of it. Yeah. But it's looking good. Yes, definitely. What took you so long? It's literally right in amongst them. They are not very interested in this. They're not liking this one bit, are they? We spent hours chasing the carp up and down the canal, but our offerings of bread and bunches of worms were ignored time and time again. Go on, suck it in. Go on. Go on. Oh, don't tell me that's going to be it. I thought this was going to be an absolute doddle. The fish were active, they were easy enough to find, and they looked like they might be up for a bit of floating bread. But I thought it was just going to be a case of rocking up, in, out, sawn off style, bread bomb business at half a wrap, and I thought it was going to be lovely times. But we're just not Alan Blair enough. <laughs> Well, I've currently got one rod in the water just down the margin over a handful of sweet corn. And this second rod, I'm going to fish in a small hole in the weed. There's quite a few fish held up in this weed. I mean, the spots themselves, the holes themselves, are only, only sort of bin lid size. So I just clipped up to a spot there. It's got a really simple uh, blowback rig with a carp freaks washed out pink pop up on. I'm just going to drop that as a single hook bait in this little hole in the weed here. Got something. Pretty sure it's not a carp. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a bream. Ugh. Don't want me catching them in the night. Didn't take me long to catch that bream either. Okay, that was unexpected. They did say it's quite prolific here for bream. So, well, so far, lost 60 quid. <laughs> Which fell out my pocket. Blanked on the river. Now someone's setting up about four foot from me. So, what next? Another walk at the other end. I think there's no point being here now. 
It had been a long, hard and challenging day and we were almost beaten. Despite seeing plenty of carp, they were totally uncooperative and it looked as if we were going to head into our second night still fishless. We had a wander up the canal in the fading light and out of nowhere we struck gold. This doesn't look bad up here. There's quite a few fish over there. I think, I think these are right up for it. Yes. <laughs> oh, this bite has been a long time in coming. Have you got one? <sighs> well, I've hooked one. We haven't got it in the net yet. The weed's so thick that oh, it's moving. I just flicked in a, a piece of flake. I could see the fish moving between the, between the weed. Just flicked in a piece of flake. And just saw the, the line just tighten up. Just struck it, oh, it's on the surface now. <laughs> Not a bream, is it? <laughs> oh, don't be a bream! Please, don't be a bream. It's not doing it. Is it a bream? It is a carp. <laughs> oh, the net stuck. It's not doing a lot. Get in that net, please. Get in that net. Yes! <laughs> That's taken way too, too long. long. That's like two days, like two full days to get that bite. Uh. It's a strange feeling at the moment. It's like elation, but at the same time, I just look how far behind we are. But it's a start. It's, it's a, a start. start. It's, a start. <laughs> it's definitely a start. Well done. Thanks, mate. That's a pretty cool fish too. Right, great, let's get a mat out and take a look at him. Well, after two days and lots of frustrations, we finally have the challenge up and running. We've got this mint little common of about eight, nine pound, and this fell to a piece of slow sinking bread flake that I flicked towards a, a fish that was passing through the weed bed. It's been such a frustrating day. So I moved down the other end of the canal, right at the far end, as far as we could fish. Saw a couple of fish, made one cast and caught one fish. <laughs> I do think there might be one more chance yet before it gets dark. There are a few fish cruising around in this area. And I think if we can catch one more fish before it gets dark, I think that might put us back on track. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, just needed to be patient, Mark. Yeah. And that's been our problem, hasn't it, from the start of this challenge? I think it's like, well, half five came and it was like a switch flicking and they just seemed to want to charge for the bread rather than... If, if I land this, this will be my first ever UK Canal it will, yeah. <laughs> get in, get in, get in, get in. Yes! Oh, well done. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what? When we when we came here, we both said it would be a massive result is it if we could get two by dark and an hour ago. I didn't think that we'd get two by light tomorrow morning. It was not looking good. There we go. Ah, oh, wicked. Look at him. My first ever canal carp. And at probably 10 pounds, I have absolutely made up. Not only because my first ever canal carp, but this puts us sort of back on track, or right back on track actually. Um, yeah, from the minute go, everything seems to have been against us, but this has now uh, sort of put us there in with in with a fighting chance, I think. And uh, Mark, we've had a bit of a chat off of camera, and we're gonna go 
somewhere that wasn't really scheduled tonight, but somewhere that could pull a river carp out the bag. So that's now the canal part of this challenge ticked off the list and we are now going to hit the road and head over to another county and have another go at a river. We are going out on a bit of a quim on this. Quim. A whim. You quim. mean a whim. It's not I didn't, quim. I didn't mean quim. <laughs> I meant a whim. We're going out, I'd rather be going out. No, I don't say that. We are going out on a bit of a whim on this one. I think it's a little bit of a gamble, but we've got nothing to lose. We are, I mean, it's nearly dark now. We've got a three hour drive to get to this river. And if it pays off, then this will be amazing. This will put us right back on track. In fact, it will put us ahead of the track. We'll be going off track. <laughs> we are going off track. Yeah. You're going off track. I'm going way off track. We need to go off track to get back on track and across the finishing line. The drive took us well into darkness, but eventually, after over 150 miles, we arrived at our next location in Essex. So after a three hour drive, we are now in Essex and we are parked up and just a few yards behind where we are parked is a small river. And we've just had a, a walk along the river and just with the head torch, we've already been able to see a couple of carp. There is one, just down there. Literally just there. Actually, there's one just down there. So this is looking a million times better than the last river we fished. I just want to get started, get fishing, because I'm really pretty tired. It's, it's after 11 o'clock, we've been up and at it early this morning, and I really do think if we can get some little traps set, I think we've got a very, very good chance. second rod in and there's a fish with its tail like that just down here there's big mud clouds coming up I want to try and sneak this rod in place without spoking them Oh. The 
last rod that I put out, I've put one. It's just been trying to get under this near bank all the time. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Oh, that's so much better. I forgot I could do that. <laughs> oh, mate, if we can get it's one from it. Yeah. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to get a bite, actually. I was so confident when we went to sleep. <laughs> Go down here. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yes. Oh, Is he in? Straight in. Oh, straight in. <laughs> oh awesome, mate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is so, so cool. Oh, I love river carp fish. <laughs> oh, I proper love it. It's not, not a bad fish either. No. <laughs> <sighs> yes, you're right. Sort him out. There he is. Our first river carp of the session and i am so so relieved i think we both are to have had the trials and tribulations of the first 24 hours this second part of the challenge has turned on its head and uh, i feel like we're cooking on gas a little bit to have one river carp under our belts is a, a big thing this early on in the challenge so really really happy and um, yeah, really happy with this upper double proper mint river common. Awesome. Yes, mate, well done. Oh, wicked. So happy. So good morning. Um, there's nothing else to report after Harry caught his carp. Um, but it's nice to see the river in daylight. Obviously we arrived in the dark, cast out in the dark, but it's a beautiful stretch of river. Um, it's only very slow moving. There's lots of lily pads, cabbage leaves, lots of reeds along the margins. It's in a very urban location, um, but it is only very shallow. And I think after Harry caught his carp, the fish just reacted quickly to that pressure, just due to the, the, the lack of depth. I think they have sort of dispersed. Um, and that was definitely the same for me as well, because I actually caught a bream very, very quickly within a few minutes of just casting out. And um, when we got down here and we were shining the torch in the water, we could see carp and we could see bream feeding in amongst them. So I'm pretty sure that when I caught my bream, there will have been carp feeding there as well. And I think that disturbance really, really early on kind of scuppered my chances of getting a bite and the fish just spread out. Um, but that's not to say they won't come back. We do have a few more hours here before we need to start thinking about what to do next. So here's hoping the next few hours can be fruitful. I think hash browns are one of God's greatest creations. Hash browns? Yeah. 
It's his finest work. They are good. They are really good. They are really, really good. He made them on day three. <laughs> And on the third day, <laughs> he shall go forth with thy potatoey goodness <laughs> and thus shall fry thy said <laughs> and it cometh to thou thy hash brown. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> Last night when we arrived, it soon became very apparent that bream were going to be an issue mark got his first rod in and within probably five minutes he had a bream and that was before i'd got any of my rods in we had seen bream obviously they were a little bit of a problem so before i put my rods out i i made a conscious change i decided to not use the little um sort of pop-ups that we had initially planned on using which were what we also used on the canal and i went in on a bottom bait approach so this is what i used i've got two 15 mil pacific tuna dumbbells and just a really really simple rig i basically used this rig because it was the quickest thing that i could tie up that would be effective as a bottom bait so it's a medium curve shank hook and the reason that i've used that is because of its big sweeping aggressive curve and that means that all i need is a piece of silicon on the hook trapping the hair in line with the barb and it's as effective as any rig that you're going to use adding shrink tube and, and that sort of stuff too so for the hookling material i've got 15 pound cortex mat and you can see I've stripped the coating back for the hair, but actually the whole, the rest of the coating is intact where I've done the knotless knot. So I've not got any breaks in that material. And that just makes the rig a little bit more tangle free. So yeah, that was what did the business last night. And we're gonna hang it out a little bit longer. We've probably got an hour and a half something like that before we feel like we need to move on so that we could get a bit more ahead of ourselves we're kind of at the halfway point and we've got about half of the challenge completed but if we stay here for too long and the fish have moved off then we're we're going to be up against it again so yeah we're going to give it an hour and a half and see what happens Well, that's as long as we are prepared to give it on the river. The plan now is to head over to the lake where hopefully we can smash out two carp in 24 hours, then come back to the river for the final night to finish in a blaze of glory. But before we leave, we're gonna put a bit of bait on a few likely looking areas then when we do come back, if we arrive again in the dark, then our spots will be prepped. Hopefully there'll be fish feeding. We'll be able to knock on our early doors and have a nice big happy ending. This next journey took us deep into the Cambridgeshire Fens, where we were hoping to tick two Lake Carp and the third county off the list. The Fens are in fact even flatter than a witch's tit. But luckily that means lots of wind and well oxygenated lakes, resulting in some very big carp indeed, with this venue holding multiple 30s and even a few over 40 pounds. Well, we are now at our fourth venue of this little road trip and our fourth county too. 
We are now in Cambridgeshire on a syndicate water called Hassey Fen that Harry and I have very kindly been given permission to fish. Um, but this is the first time either one of us has even seen this lake. Um, it does hold a good stock of big fish. In fact, just yesterday there was a 38 pounder caught, but that is the only fish that has been caught from the lake in the past 24 hours. So this is by no means nailed on and I really do think we're going to have our work cut out. I heard, I heard it, yeah. Yeah, 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 I heard it. I say, yeah, 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 yeah. It's nice when you say, oh, it'd, be, it'd be good to see one just now to confirm that this would be a good place and then one goes, Interrogating the swim initially was done with just a bare lead on braid, followed by a grappling lead once we had pinpointed some likely spots. Yeah, come in grappling leads. Thank you. Yeah, you'll be sweet. That was the best pull back yet. Yeah, then it's weighed. That's the right sort of distance, I think, isn't it? I mean, it's the nicest, smoothest spot, so. It feels silk weedy. Right, so that one is me. Our confidence was given a further boost when the angler in the swim next door hooked into a fish. With the lake being quite weedy, he needed the aid of the boat to land it. But eventually, after being battered by the wind, he slipped a 20 pounder into the net. Well done. Happy days. Happy day. Rods were wrapped up, clipped, marked, and fired out to the spots. Rigs were kept super simple and were tied using Camatex soft and size 5 stiff rig beak point hooks in my case and wide gate beaks in Mark's. Hook baits were plastic corn that had been left to soak for ages in the Carp Freaks booster liquid. The rigs were followed by the bait. A simple mix of sweet corn, hemp and 10mm Pacific tuna boilies. We both put around 20 spots over each spot and finally, just as the night was drawing in, our work was done. So we are now going into the penultimate night of this challenge. The rods are in the water. I'm pretty happy with how they've gone out. I'm happy with how the the spots have gone out, we're fishing nice tight baited areas, uh, but we haven't seen any more fish since that one that we saw show earlier. So I just hope that there's still carp in the vicinity. Um, it's only now actually after the rods are out and we've, we've sort of sat back that the, it, it's actually dawned on me just what a, what a monumental task we are, we are still faced with. Um, we've basically got 36 hours of this challenge remaining and in that time we need to catch two carp from the lake and one from the river. So really we need to have caught two carp from this lake in the next 24 hours to have a chance of another night on the river. That's the realisation of, <laughs> of what exactly we are faced with. So, yeah, it, it is quite a, a mountain to climb, I think. There isn't much time remaining. Um, but right now, we are both feeling so tired, so fatigued. So I think the next thing really is to have something to eat, get our heads down, Part of me wants to get woken up in the night by a carp. Part of me wants to have a, a, a decent night's sleep and get a, a first light bite. That would be the best thing, I think. A double take at first light, imagine that. That's the dream. 
So yeah, right now we're going to get something to eat and uh, maybe you'll see one of us in the night holding up a big fat carp. Well, it's only been a couple of hours since we last spoke and to mine and Harry's surprise, I'm playing a fish. I was not expecting a bite that quickly. It's not a big fish. But the important thing is, it's a carp. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh it's free. Come on, carp, come on, carp. Get in that net. Yes. <laughs> That'll do. Yes, <sighs> mate. That's a right result. It's not even tomorrow, it's still today. <laughs> <laughs> That's put us right back in the game. Well, this may not be exactly the sort of fish we came to Hassi Fen for. There are some really big fish in this lake, but we have got an absolute banger, a lovely scaly mirror here. And this bite came a lot earlier than, than certainly I was expecting and this fish very much keeps the dream alive. We've now caught one carp from a lake and I think this puts us right back in the mix. Are you going to focus? Are you going to focus? He doesn't want to focus, does he? No, he's focused then. <laughs> so, Mark's literally just slipped that fish back and he turned around and said to me, what do you think just the chances are of us getting another bite before it gets light? Before I could say pretty high, my bob has gone. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> Is that your fish I just heard on the surface? Because that sounded like a big fish, if it is. It's really not done a lot at all. It's not done a lot. Something's just hit the surface about 30, 40 yard out, and it didn't sound small. Bet you wish you had my landing net. Uh, yeah, the landing net's over there. This is so slippy. I've got water on the lens, there's not much I can really do about it's, it. It's fine, it's raining. We were very concerned that we weren't on a good number of fish. We kind of played it cool a little bit, but we didn't think that we were on that many. Um, having only seen one and having seen quite a few on the other side to just where we can't get close to. That's a nice one. <laughs> and I'm going to have to shoot straight into the wind and the rain. Jesus! Did you want to fall out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, look at that. That's what we came here for. I can't, I can't. Oh, I'm not God, seeing him. You've done something all the way in. Oh, God, don't get stuck on that roof. Oh, that's what we came for. That's the one. That would be real, mate. Get in the nurse, get in the nurse. <laughs> that is Oh, an yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we came here for. <laughs> Look at the size of it across his back. We've certainly not seen a fish that big. It's <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> like? Yeah, that's exactly what you'd be like. That's what, that's what you reckon I look like? That's exactly what you look like. <laughs> mate. Oh, mate. I mean, I haven't lifted up a, a fish that sort of scale. 
yeah i haven't lifted up a fish of quite that scale for a little while oh wow look at <laughs> The only way you can describe it is a unit. He might be a bit of an ugly munter, but he can catch carp. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna focus? What, just read it out? 42 pounds. Oh my God. <laughs> Top man. What? Oh my God. Is that the first 40 on a challenge? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the biggest one is before. You're 38 from Northy Park. Oh, yeah, on the Carpy Challenge, yeah, 38 something. <laughs> well, <laughs> what a way to tick off the second lake fish, the second lake carp, 42 pounds. I just can't, can't believe it. We came to Hassey because we knew that it had biggins in. I don't think either of us expected a 40 pounder and to catch it so early on in being here is just absolutely unreal. Um, I don't, I don't really know what to say. What a absolute unit. Oh, how's about that, Mark? That is pretty amazing. And it's still today. It's, not even it's, still, to, it's still today. Still today. Tomorrow's like a, a couple of hours away. Oh, what a massive unit. One last look, might not be the best looking fish that I've ever caught, but certainly one of the most memorable. What an absolute donkey. So even though that is now the lake part of the challenge completed, I think, Mark, you'll agree with me, that despite being completely shattered and due a good few hours of sleep, I'm certainly going to carry on fishing. I think you're probably going to carry on fishing. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> it's too good of an opportunity to turn down, isn't it? We're here. There's some amazing fishing here, and yeah, I, I want to. I want to catch something a bit bigger than what I've caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just too like. Oh, it's obviously you like fishing well and you can't you can't turn things like that down no can't look a good gift horse in the mouth as they say do they they do say that yeah have you never heard look a gift horse in the mouth don't look a gift horse in the mouth you've never heard at the that. moment i'm just looking at you very out of focus and you're back <laughs> You've never heard, don't look at... Uh, I have. Uh, what is a gift horse? A gift horse is a horse that is there to give you a gift. And you shouldn't just look at it in the mouth. Thank you for the gift. I will take it, Mr. Horse, Mr. Gift Horse. So don't so, look at it. Don't look at it in the mouth. Look at it in the eyes oh, okay. and say, thank you. I will take your gift gladly and continue to catch carp. Oh, through the it's a gift horse. It's quite clearly a horse that brings, brings gifts. gifts. Like the Easter Bunny, but... A horse. <laughs> With that well and truly cleared up, we got back to the fishing, and it was not long before I was in again. Got another bite, and I've literally just heard one, <laughs> and managed to see it in the in the moonlight as well over uh, over my spot. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a spinning media. Focus, focus. Focus, please focus. Oh, Mark is excellent at filming. Is it focused? 
the art is now. Landed it five minutes ago though. The hook's come out of the net. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, in stark contrast to the last fish, how about that for an absolutely mint zip linear? What a awesome looking fish. Probably 24, 25 pounds. And uh, yeah, let's hope we get a few more of these before we have to leave. This isn't a 10 pounder, and I'm in the clip. Oh no. I think it feels a bit bigger than 10 pound. It's quite hard because there is a lot of weed on it as well at the moment. It just keeps going from one weed bed to another weed bed. But right now it seems really solid, and I don't know if I need to take to the boat. Because where that's now, that is, there's a really, a really big weed bed. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that's terrifying. That's a really good fish. Especially when all week so far I've caught a biggest fish I've had about 10 pounds. <laughs> that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Come on, please, come on, please, come on. Please come on. Please come on. Get in that. Get in that net. Yes. Oh yes. That. That's why I like it. And it has picked up the other rod. Yeah, it's not a bad one at all, mate. I think it might be a thirty. Yeah, I think so. I think he's a, a big 20, I think. I'm stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I was being cheeky. That'll do. That's meant. That's absolutely meant. Yeah, I'm buzzing, mate. I'm absolutely buzzing. <laughs> Fish, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, you can proper see the uh... anus. Well, I'm not actually at that sort of angle, but you can proper see the girth on it. Yeah. 37.4 I'm going to go with. £40.10. Oh, no way! <laughs> no way! Mate. That's ridiculous! <laughs> Brace of 40s? What? Oh, that's crazy! No way! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's, that is insane! That is ridiculous! <laughs> oh, mate, how good is that? Wow! 
I'm absolutely blown away. Well, that's my first challenge 40. You had one on your debut, no, no, your second, second yeah. challenge. <sighs> Look at that. 40 pounds, 10 ounces, I think yeah, Harry said. <sighs> oh, what a absolute challenge. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Even though this fish didn't actually affect the challenge in any way, it was already it was already job done as far as the lake was concerned. But that <laughs> that is something else. <laughs> I don't know what I can say. The, the I'm a bit lost for words, no, really. I know. First time we've had a 40 on the challenge and we've had two. Yeah. Well, what a way to start the day. I thought this fish doesn't really affect the outcome of the challenge in any way. It certainly boosted my morale, having just caught two small carp so far. And I think going forward, that's going to give me all the confidence I need to go into the final night where we need to catch a river carp. But the question is, do we pack up and go to the river now? Or do we stay a bit longer and try and catch a few more fish like this? Tough one, tough one. <laughs> right, come on big fella. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, mate, mate, mate. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you try hold it on. <laughs> That's mega. Absolutely mega. Celebrate rebrew? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There's been no picnicking, has there? This has been the worst picnic session I've ever been on. You need time for picnic you need picnic time. That'd be a good <laughs> That would be a great name for a, a TV show or something. Picnic time. I'm actually being serious. Could we not do an episode of Picnic Time? 10 minute long episode of Picnic Time. Why? Why? You wouldn't like a 10 minute episode of Picnic Time. So we go to a lake. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. <laughs> come home. And then come home. <laughs> I think it could be a monthly thing. I've not got time for that. Each month we have a guest. We already know who the best guest would be. Right, should we say it on three? On One, two, three. Leon Bartrop. <laughs> He yeah. would be such a good He would time be guest. the best picnic time guest, wouldn't he? So good. Should I ring him? So hold on, okay, I've started to like the idea more. On picnic time, do yeah. you bring your picnic and they bring their yes. picnic? Yeah. And you compare picnics? Exact that's exactly what happens. So we just go to a lake, have a fantastic picnic. <laughs> Come home. And then you come home. <laughs> so first of all, people need to comment below with should we make picnic time? And if so, who with? Well, if people vote for it, this is happening, yeah? When you say if people vote for it, you're only asking people if they want to ha have it happen. So if yes. you don't want to see it happen, also comment below. No, just keep no, quiet. don't do it. No, we don't need to hear negativity. So if you don't want to see an episode of picnic time, just shut up. We don't need to know. <laughs> Harry is now actually really pumped for it, aren't you? I feel like we'd need to do a pilot. We can do that. We could trial it on my YouTube. We'll do a pilot. Got to do a pilot. You have to. We've come this far. We're in now. Literally, the tip's in. So me and Leon, picnic time somewhere with fishing rods, talking about picnicy things. It's like a better version of a podcast. Yeah. 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 I think Leon would bring scotch eggs. Yeah. Sausage rolls. Probably a quiche. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. Leon Bartrop bringing a quiche to a picnic is like the best thing. Yeah, you're getting it. You're getting it, yeah? This is this is going to be brilliant. <laughs> who's a sandwiches, who's a cucumber sandwich cut into triangles? You. I'm so excited for picnic time. Do you have winter picnics? A spring picnic, I think, the next one. Good time for picnics. You see, these are the sort of things we talk about in picnic time. 
If we have a March picnic, I'd get my guests and say, so, how would you go and approach a March picnicking session? It's all about preparation, isn't it? If someone turns up for a picnic session in March without a flask of soup, they're going to have a <laughs> picnic. You can't just rock up in March for a picnic ill-prepared and expect it to go your way. No. Won't happen. No. Are you calling Leon Bartrop? Of course I'm calling Leon Bartrop. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Pitchers. Hello, you. How are you doing? I was expecting oh. you to, to call me some name or something. What, like Big Nose? And yeah, I was going to, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so predictable. Um, we've been thinking. Uh, I'm oh, with dear. Ha uh, who, hang on, hang on a minute. Who's we? Me and Harry. We've got an idea for a new series. It's going to be called Picnic Time. Yeah, it says really up my street. Yeah, exactly. what are you trying to say? We go to a lake, sit and have a great picnic. <laughs> yeah? Are you, are you on your medication today or not? It sounds like you're not. <laughs> you can bring whatever you would bring on a, on, on a picnic. So, I don't know. I, do you like scotch eggs? Oh, I love scotch eggs. I told you. I told you we'd love a scotch egg. What about a pasty? I've seen you put plenty of ginsters down your neck. <laughs> Do you know what? I haven't had a Ginster for about 20 years. That's a lie. I've seen you demolish them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. This is happening, yeah? Yes, mate. Oh, but I'm up for that. That'd be fun. Right. Fun. Awesome. Right. That's great. So, you're my first guest. We'll get a date in the diary and we'll make yeah. it happen. I'm going to go and I'll speak to you soon. No worries. Speak to you soon, Bye, mate. mate. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. I can't believe we just got Leon Bardrop on the challenge. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't think a cup of tea had ever tasted so good on a challenge before, and we'd had some fantastic brews over the years. The victory flag was flying high, and the greedy carp anglers inside us decided we would stick it out for a few more hours to see if the lake had any more surprises in store. I am taking a photo that will blow Instagram, because it highlights exactly how a carp angler's reel should look. That for me encapsulates carpiness. Just absolutely pitted, but it looks so good. Well, that's it for our time at Hassi Fen. We feel like it is time to move on now and go back down to the river. But this has been a fantastic leg of the journey. Uh, we've been speaking to a few of the locals and regular anglers here and they tell us that there's probably five 40 pounders in the lake at the right time of year. So for Harry and I to come down and get a 40 pounder each, it's absolutely incredible. And I just hope we haven't used up all our luck before this challenge is over. But right now we are going to reel the rods in, we are going to hit the road and we are going to get back down on the river and see if we can get this challenge in the bag. This was it, the final leg of the journey and we headed back down to Essex to the spot we had caught from two nights previous. With a few hours of light left, we arrived back at the river. Things now, however, were a little different. We couldn't see any carp, and that came as little surprise, considering there was now a £9.99 dinghy powered by a petrol outboard motor charging up and down the river. We decided to get sorted regardless, in the hope the carp would return in the hours of darkness once things had quietened down. While we were grabbing our kit from the van, another angler started setting up in our main pre-baited spot. Can't believe it. I wouldn't even, even have thought about putting a bucket in that swim before. If, if I thought we could get them that, that swim on the trends, I'd, I'd be fairly confident of catching. I really would. But if there's someone in it, I mean, then what? If we... The thought of getting there and no, the being so... I don't even know who I can phone that's near there. I just don't think I can face a three and a half hour drive at the moment. I feel f I mean, I re like I said, I was struggling on that two hour drive down here. So I was... The, the amount of time I've been stood here, we could have had a rod near that tree. 
time to decide what we're going to do next. With a major decision on our hands, we decided to get fishing and then make up our minds if we would stay on this stretch or risk everything and travel back to the Trent. I know pockets on these joggers are shit. of that I'm crystal clear. So, so far this session, <laughs> we lost 60 quid at the start. I lost my credit card when we got here, which I found in a bush. That was lucky. That was so lucky. Fishing wise, clear as mud, isn't it, really? The guy that was fishing here, he, he made hardly any disturbance at all, did he? I, I don't think that's compromised the fishing in any way. The two boats without boards that went up and down. Them things in two and a half feet of water that we're fishing in, not the one. You could see all the weed and lilies and all sorts that were floating about afterwards where it smashed them to bits. And... But it's early, we've got 12 hours of the session remaining now, 12 hours. I don't know, I can't call this one. I really can't call it. I don't think traveling to the Trent was an option for you, was it? I think Lying. you would have died. If we had left then, I might have been all right. You might have survived the journey. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel I, it now. There's absolutely no way that I'd be able to make it. Probably only had about two and a half hours kip last yeah, night. Not, not much. Don't know. It's a tight one, isn't it? It really is a tight one. I don't know. The thing is, we've got till nine o'clock, haven't we, before the challenge ends. I think in reality, I think if we haven't caught by first light, it's, it's, as, it's as good as done. I'm going to be proper gutted if we don't pass it. Yeah. Just because... We've come so far. We've come so far. We are so close. Yeah. In but we did get two 40s. Yeah, but right now that was like... Ages that ago. Was, that was yesterday. <laughs> mine wasn't. Mine yours, was today. Yours, yours was today. Yeah, mine was yesterday. Yeah. Forget Distant about Distant memory. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Did we do the wrong thing? We sat up debating the ifs, buts and maybes late into the night and when the dreary dawn broke we knew our fate was sealed. I've just given you 60 quid and you've lost it. Yeah. Stuff's got to go so wrong this week, isn't it? It's not doing a lot. Get in that net. Please get in that net. Yes! <sighs> Yes! Oh, well done. Oh my. <laughs> That's the end. Frustrating. Oh. Frustrating. oh, awesome, mate. <laughs> Good in the net! Good in the net! <laughs> 42 pounds. Oh my god! <laughs> Top man. What? <laughs> Brace of 40s? What? Oh, that's crazy. Oh my god. That's, that is insane. But that, <laughs> that is something else. Well, that is it. That's it. Um, it has been quite the roller coaster journey. Um, didn't get off to the best possible start. No, when I gave you 60 quid that we just got out of the cash point and you just chucked it on the floor and lost it. Yeah, that was wasn't great. good. <laughs> Brilliant start. And from there we went to the River Trent and that didn't quite go to plan. No, that set us back. We were really hoping to have at least got off the mark at that point. Yeah, we were then over 24 hours into the challenge before we even caught a fish. The canal was much harder than we expected. We could see plenty of fish. They were just having none so of it. So cute. And then as dust began to, to come in, that was it, like flicking a switch that came. They were much more obliging. And then for the next 48 hours, we were just on a roll. Yeah, we couldn't Absolute go wrong, roll. could we? Yeah. yeah, so... Two from the canal, yeah. over to the river that was a complete... We, we had not even discussed going on this river before nope. the challenge, and it was completely on a whim. 
and it paid off with a river carp and then over Tahasi Fen. And that was an amazing session. Unreal. I, I wish we could have stayed a bit longer. I think we stayed as long as we possibly could. Um, but yeah, to get a brace of 40. Yeah, the first 40 on the challenge, followed by the, the second. Next, yeah, <laughs> it was an amazing session. And I think we were kind of, maybe that gave us a bit of a confidence boost. It did definitely give me a confidence yeah. boost. It was almost like we're riding the crest of the wave or something. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we came crashing back down. We were so, so confident that we'd just come back down to the river and it would be like handed to us on a plate, yeah. on a silver platter. Here is your final carp, your yeah. second river carp, and you will pass. We were already talking about, you know, we could get this done tonight, go home a day early and have a bath and a shower <laughs> and everything. But <laughs> It wasn't to be, and that brings us up to now. And that's now, and that just leaves us with one final thing to say. And seeing as it's your challenge debut, when we fish together, then I'll leave it up to you to say that. No, we can both say it. No, no, we can honestly, both say honestly, it. I don't mind. We can both. Honestly, I don't mind. Yeah. You can have the final words. It's fine. But we'll honestly. both say it. We've done it. We've been in it together. Honestly, we'll mate, say it together. On it, three. It would be my pleasure on if three. you had the final we'll words. We'll do it on three. Okay. On three? Yeah. On three. Right. You counting as yeah. well? Yeah. Right. One, two, two three. three. Challenge failed. That's. Ha, ha, ha.